In this video, we're going to be looking at getting started with the Dagger Python SDK. So first thing we want to do is say Dagger develop, and we will specify the SDK as Python. Once this runs, we will see our Dagger JSON updated with the SDK specified as Python. And our default source here is Dagger, where it's created our files. Now if we look in these files, we have our module getting started under source main.py. And it's containing these boilerplate functions that help familiarize us with the Dagger SDK. Looking at this first function, container echo, we can see that it takes in a string arg and returns a container. The most important part here is this dag object, which is our instance of a Dagger client. With that client, we can do things like create containers, manipulate directories, files, and much more. So with this container in this function, we're going to say that container is from Alpine latest, and we're going to execute this command. In the second example from our boilerplate code here, the function takes in a directory and a string, and we're going to once again get a Alpine container, but this time we're going to mount a directory into it and run a command against it. If we use our terminal to say dagger functions, we can see all the functions that are inside of our module and some information about them. One important thing to notice here is the description maps to this description we've put in our code so that we can easily add some, uh, some help text to our CLI usage. So from here, let's say we want to add another function to our module. And this function is going to take this index.html file and serve it from a container. So we can, within our uh, getting started object, define a function and that will be called web. And we'll have an input called source, which will be our dagger directory containing that index.html. And that's going to return a which will have uh, nginx and our uh, HTML files within it. So we can say here return, once again, using that dagger client, we'll say we want a container. And that will be from nginx. And then we'll put that directory inside the container. So we'll say with directory. And the, de the default path uh, for nginx to serve this is that share, move this up a little bit, uh, nginx, html, and then we'll put that dagger directory in that location. So now with this function, if we go ahead and call dagger call web, and source will be our current directory where index.html exists, we're going to pass that directory as source, we're going to get this nginx container with that directory mounted inside it. Now, since this returns a container, all we've done so far is just evaluated this pipeline. So we can run commands here. We can uh, use the SDK to do all kinds of things. But with that container, we could also do a lot more. So we could uh, maybe push that to a registry somewhere. We could save that to a tarball on our machine. Uh, maybe we want to run that uh, container. So let's say. Uh, in this case, we want to take that Nginx container and actually run that and access that file from our host. So we can say as service. So now we're um, mutating our container into a service type. And then we'll say up oh, ports 80, 80. So we're going to run this service. Uh, and we're going to tell Dagger that this service is um, listing on port 80. So once this is running, we'll be able to see some nginx output from nginx actually executing inside the container. And there's that. So we can open another terminal and say curl localhost. And there is our contents of our index.html being served from nginx. Now from there, if you want to go learn more about Dagger and the Python SDK, go ahead and go to docs.dagger.io. And then under the developer guide, 
you can select developing with Python. But there's all these other concepts you can read about here.